I've been wanting to make some concluding remarks to my two videos entitled The Thirteenth Tribe. I'm focused on the person of Don Warden, the Black Panther, who, according to Perry Sutton, a civil rights activist of the 1960s in America, the United States, I should have said, some people object to the use of America, the word America, we're not entitled to call ourselves Americans. Other Americans are offended when U.S. citizens call themselves Americans. That, I, I, I mention that because of supposed or real hostility by various other nations toward the United States. I believe that Don Warden, also known as Khalid al-Mansur, is uh, one of those stirring up such hatred against the United States. I'm looking hard at Don Warden, a former Black Panther, who approached Perry Sutton back in the late 80s, the, the late 1980s, and asked Perry Sutton to use his influence to ease the way for an acquaintance who wanted to enter Harvard Law School. The Black Panther, who became Khalid al-Mansur, who is busily stirring up Muslim Arabic hatred toward the United States worldwide, point number one was promoting Barack Obama 20 years ago. Point number two, Don Warden, also known as Khalid al-Mansur, is linked to a Saudi Arabian by the name of al-Talal, the said to be the fifth wealthiest man in the world. And greetings, friends around the world, all five of you. All five of you confused friends, probably, because, wow, you know, we've got a lot of research to do, and we've got clues that are all over the place. I'm going to confuse you even more by mentioning this. The telecom boom in the late 90s, the internet stock bubble, the late 1990s, that supposedly was burst by the Federal Reserve Board, um, and this by, by increasing interest rates deliberately to pop this bubble of overinvestment um, and the reason this bubble occurred I believe and suspect is because of the Fed's attempts earlier to um, um, mediate the um, Asian crisis interest rates were kept artificially low to deal with the Asian crisis low interest rates create overinvestment somewhere similar to the overinvestment in housing and the overinvestment in in uh, repackaged mortgages for home loans sold by Wall Street bankers around the world mislabeled as safe investments when in fact they were very risky, ready to collapse and uh, decline in value considerably. Back to the telecom bubble. Um, prices of very, very speculative, unknown, high-tech companies went sky high, sky high. That's what I noticed, and I, and I was curious, why, why? Why are they why are they so high? And it was because people had money and were trying to put it somewhere and were being influenced to put their money in so called tech stocks, resulting in the dot com dot bomb. A lot of investors lost money. Well, I took a look at all of this studied it real hard the technical aspects of the internet and the internet equipment and eventually had to resign myself to the realization that this is too technical for me I'll never grasp it as months passed I began to realize you know what as actually a year or two three four years passed I glanced back at it and and began to suspect not only is this too technical for me it is and was too technical for those who were pushing it I began to suspect that this was a whole lot of hype 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 the dot-com boom was a lot of hype and investors were sheepish and putting their money in these 
so-called businesses, which many of which were um, virtually shell businesses, phony businesses, masquerades, and of course, uh, it popped and, and investors lost their money and the, the creators of these shells had already sold at the top, pocketed the money. Wealth, a lot of wealth was transferred from uh, people saving for retirement to the pockets of hucksters, at least in some cases. Hucksters who were beyond the reach of um, the SEC. Hucksters overseas, hucksters with bank accounts in Switzerland and with uh, their phony corporations set up offshore. Offshore. So these are uh, the... This is where I am in my looking at all this and I've noticed that um, Khalid uh, was involved in um, the high-tech business and he supposedly made this Arab prince mega wealthy and I, I'm, I haven't yet looked into uh, the sources of his wealth but he claims that he started investing this guy named Prince uh, Ben Talal started investing right out of college with uh, very little wealth at that time he was he's the cousin to the king you know he has connections but um the king is not going to lavish him with gifts of billions of dollars how did the black panther don warden uh, hook up with the uh, saudis he went to saudi with his friend to to visit with his friend in saudi uh, and happened to be in the office of, of uh, I, I believe the king when he was complaining about uh, legal troubles legal troubles and uh, Don Warden a face unknown in the office at the time said um, maybe I can help you with this maybe I can help you with your legal problems and uh, so the king looks up and uh, sees well this is an acquaintance a friend of of my nephew or whatever or you know somebody in the family cousin third cousin Leroy you know but you know part of the family this is a friend of the family so the king being busy and having loads of money he said well um, you see what you can do see what you can do about this this problem this legal problem I'm having and maybe uh, Don Warden uh, was successful in pulling some strings and so he hooked up with the uh, Saudi royal family. If uh, he was on the ground floor of the telecom boom, the dot-com boom, advising people to put their money in, um, he could have made some people uh, wealthy real quick when uh, stock values went up like a hundredfold or 50 times or 20 times. Obscure, know-nothing, obscure inscrutable stocks um, you know, went from three dollars up to thirty dollars to sixty dollars to ninety dollars to hundred and twenty dollars and uh, then uh, it all popped and collapsed down to three dollars and one dollar fifty cents nineteen cents thirteen cents five cents out of business so even though the stock would uh, do a reverse split and blah 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 but eventually you know what it amounts to is whoever invested in this lost all or most of their money the, the wealth was transferred it was a redistribution of wealth it was if it was done fraudulently it was theft plain and simple this is a possible explanation of um, how some people amassed a huge fortune very quickly 